We'll see though. Okay, Go definitely on. live. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I'm Clifton. This is Brandon. You guys know him okay. from the chat. Um, some of you know him in person. Some of you know him from the chat. Um, but we're going live this random unscheduled stream because he brought over some goodies for us to try. So, yeah, um, yeah you guys probably saw from the title what we're trying tonight. Um, where should we start? Which one should we start at? Okay, any day now. Donnie, <laughs> Donnie and Diana, can you see us now? Are we good? Sorry. We had good. To, wait, I'm sitting on like this like chest thing, so I'm like, Makeshift. we had to figure out our seating situation. We, we brought our cat, our cat, <laughs> our cat perch. thing. Yes. But this worked better, so. Yes. What's up, everybody? Oh, I don't know if I said that. Yeah, no, I said I was with yeah. you. Okay. Um, was Donnie like, or Diana or whoever. Donnie D and Diana. They said that they're both here. They're both so. here. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, we have Glad some special have things. What should we... Let's save this one. Let's okay. let's go for, let's go for this one. First? Yeah. Okay. So, first here, we have... Eagle Rare pick from Red Hill Liquor, local to you. It's your store. Where is it? Yeah. What city is it in? So it's technically in Orange. City of Orange, Orange, California. Yes. So this is a pick. I've never had an Eagle Rare pick. Um, There's two of us. Oh, so you haven't either. No, okay. No, no. I like Eagle Rare. The first one I had, I didn't like, and then I avoided it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I got another one, and it was really, really good. Gotta get so. some air time, man. Um, whose chest are you sitting on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what I'm saying. We've had a couple pours before this. We'll just say that. No, we're, we're fine. Okay, I'll let you open since you're so okay. particular about opening your bottles. Yeah, I love cork pops, dude. I blame Chad for that. Yeah, wait, you can do it during the mic so you can get a good cork okay. pop on. I was like, let me get this plastic off yeah. real quick. So um, Donnie and Diana said they Jeez. love Eagle Rare store picks. Well, we'll see how the store pick goes. There's yeah. another store that has a pick two as well, but supposedly this is the better pick of the two. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's great. You got it. No, I failed on this one. <laughs> we probably shouldn't uh, beforehand. It's okay. You wanted to have the whole uncorking moment. So how's everyone doing? What are you guys drinking? Yeah, so might as well time. since I can't get this off. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have scissors if that helps. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Your little, the little tab came off. Yeah. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday. Those of you on the East Coast, it's 7 p.m. So I would probably... I'm surprised some of you showed up. So <laughs> thank you. I know it's like not the best time for streams, so... Slowly but surely, we're getting my cat. My cat is locked in here with us, so he may jump on the camera. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There I got, got it. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> got it, guys. Sorry. So nerve wracking. Okay. Ready for the cork pop? Yes. So, ready? Yep. Yes. That was a good one. That was a good one. Right. Donnie says, lazy day watching football. We were just talking about sports. I know nothing about sports. And he and his wife were both like, Oh yeah, that's this. This is called this. No, it's okay. I spill on this desk all the time. <laughs> Blind sample of some oaky stuff. That's right, Eric. You said you were sampling oaky stuff. Oh, you gotta let us know at the end of the. If if you find out what they are by the end of this, let us know because I'm curious. Um, oaky. I would guess. I always guess Knob Creek with oaky, like older Knob Creek picks okay, or yeah. Booker's. Um, Ooh, here comes the cat. <laughs> I can see. No cat, stay away. It almost smells like cherry. Well, I feel like I get that a lot. Don't you go rare? I've gotten that before. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to take the cat and put him up? Don't. <laughs> I just don't want to knock our glasses off. There's a cat. There is a cat. <laughs> We're not lying, people. There is a cat in here. Right, if he does it again, we'll put him yes. out. Yeah, we'll try. That was we'll his one chance, so. It smells really good. Yeah. I mean, they're 90 proof still, right? Like, it's still the... Yeah, it's still 90 proof. So yeah. the same label, everything. You just yeah. put the sticker on the side, and that's it. So, an Eagle Rare is one of those ones that's used to be labeled as a single barrel now they don't yes. label it because there's like something that like potentially could get contaminated or something right yeah no it's when they fill the barrels there still could be some left from the previous barrel they don't clean out the lines in between which is weird but i feel like that's but, a slow progression to making it not single barrel let's yeah. be honest like <laughs> yeah so it still has got the 10 year age statement so everything else it is smells the same. really good i mean i like i said it's been a while since i've had eagle rare mm -hmm. but um i know i'm a big fan of i mean that Nashville is one of the better oh, buffalo yeah, taste ones so i'm gonna go ahead and taste yeah, it cheers, cheers. Bud. It's weird to have a guest. I'm so excited. You can definitely tell us lower proof. And we've been drinking some like higher proof in there. We just did the Elijah Craig. <laughs> the cat's trying to get out. Do you want to go let him out real yeah. quick? <laughs> yeah, we just did the Elijah Craig. Um, yeah, I see. We did the um, grenade from the distillery. Oh, that's really good though. Now that I'm letting it like evolve. Mm. That's what what's interesting about Eagle Rare. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw um, Chad and Sarah yesterday uploaded a um, flight fight. Did you see that yet? Or yes, I did. Yeah. So like Eagle Rare scored last for them, but that was because they were comparing it to these high proof stuff. But yeah, they appreciated that there was like that fruitiness, like you said, cherry. There's definitely mm -hmm. cherry, but like I mean, you can taste the age on it too. I would say oh, yeah. for sure. 
Oh yeah, I could used to drink on this for a while. This mm-hmm. is a definitely an easy sipper. Oh yeah, almost too easy. Like I can mm-hmm. see going through half this bottle. So, um, not seen it. Yeah, you should go check that out. Oh, I, I didn't mean to spoil anything. Spoiler sorry, alert. Sorry. No. Sorry. You. We didn't say who won. So <laughs> no. But um, they were just trying. They. It was a very solid lineup. Like everything yeah. they had was like legit, like good stuff. So definitely. Um, yeah, that's really good. I mean, I could see why they were talking to like. Yeah, I was gonna say. You know, look, at, look at the legs on it. Yeah. Well, one thing they said that. Um, the person that was doing the pick, they um, were worried about lowering the proof on it because they got to try it barrel proof to yeah. start with. Um, so they kind of like guesstimated as how it would taste proof down to 90 proof. And this one stood out as still having that mouthfeel. And I agree mm-hmm. completely. There's definitely way, really long finish. I mean, oh yeah, dude, this is for a 90 proofer. Like, that's crazy. Mm. That's that's really good. You got one for yourself, right? I got okay. two. Okay, he got some. Dad, 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 me two bottles. So. He, he gave me a bottle of this, so I felt bad, but no, you got your own. No, so. yeah, we're good. Cool. I can get another one if we need to. Man. Yeah, that's, is... that's fantastic. I mean, what'd you pay for it? You said right yes. at 40, right? Like, yeah, 40 bucks, you know? Yes, you every day, all day. Like, I mean, yeah, it'd be great if it was cast strength or something, but of even... Of course, even... but still, this is a pick, man. Even what, because yeah. how much is the regular bottle? What, 30? I mean, I've seen it as low as 26, but it's almost, almost always 30 to 32. 30, exactly. Sure. So, you know what, for a pick... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, Elijah Craig. The Elijah Craig picks I get are usually about seven to ten dollars more than the standard Elijah Craig. Yeah, so. um, and they're totally worth it. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll all we have to say about that one is we recommend trying. Oh, if you ever see an Eagle Rare store pick, even if it's not this store, this is Red Hill Liquor. Yeah. Um, uh, Johnny says Red Hill or sorry Eagle Rare store picks about thirty two. Oh wow. Okay. So that's so it's, I mean, it's about the ballpark. Similar, I mean, this is yeah. California, dude. So sure. everything's expensive Everything. in California. That's very true. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this. So like, if oh, you, yeah, yeah if, maybe may need more of that if you Dude, go back oh if God. they still have it. Yeah, I might stop on the way home. No, I can't stop on the way home. Well, actually, <laughs> they might be opening it on the way home. I might stop maybe on the way home. Saturday. Should we get the handle of it? Hand, hand, they have it left. Handle this is 68. Yeah, they had three left when I was there yesterday. Three or four. I mean, if you it's bought if you handle, bought though. if you bought one and you re, like, if you bought two, I'll take one. <laughs> I was like, so. the only the only thing I don't buy handles is I feel like you don't get to enjoy it by the time you get to the end of it. That's true. I, I, mean, I don't buy them often. Honestly, the only one I have is of the um, JTS Brown when yeah. I went to Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Um, but that one, it's, if it's a cheap one, it doesn't but, really matter. Yeah, it's, it's like, like $20, it's so, you know, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Not like 68 or something like that, so. Yeah, so, yeah, highly recommend that one. Let's rinse our glasses, and yes. then we're going to move on to our second one. Do you want to pour some of this in here? Yeah, because it'd be great. Yeah. Uh, the Eagle Rare looks like a club. Yeah, I'll go with that, Donnie. It definitely does. Oh, I have, is, it, is it just like a very tall version it's, of that? It's literally just exact, just bigger. Just everything's oh, bigger wow. about it. Like, literally, that's it. It's like the Costco. So we have a Costco vodka that's like huge. It's on top of our fridge. It's mm. like ridiculous. Okay. Um, turn down. Peter White says, turn down a Eagle Rare pick from New York was tapped after grabbing it. Oh, well, I mean, that was a pretty pretty hefty purchase. I, I understand. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't had that. I've heard it's really good. What are your What are your thoughts on that one? Um, he's not a rye guy. No, I'm I, not a rye I keep guy, trying to give him rye, and he's like, um, eh, I mean, Juan says, uh, do you know if the Eagle Rare is still available? When I was there last night, they still had, I think, another five or six bottles of the 750, and I think they said they had three or four of the handles. Hmm. So handles were 68, and those 750s were about 40 bucks. But if they only had a few left, so, you mean like not cases? Like no, not yet, cases. Like no, they had a few bottles. They were almost gone. I think they said they started out 18 cases, oh. and it's gone that quick. They're probably gone. Honestly, they're probably so, gone. I mean, I mean, if it's out of your way, I wouldn't go check no. it. De- well, definitely give him a call because, like I said, my buddy Justin or Frank called Justin or Frank. Or, sorry, Austin. Austin was the guy I was talking to last night. He'll let you know if they have him in stock or not. It was not a rye. Oh. I'm, I'm open to rye. I just. You guys try feel... that toasted barrel rye. Okay, I'll, I'll try a toasted okay. barrel. I just feel bad. I don't want you to waste rye, you know, good good whiskey on me. And I know, just bought the Midwinter's like... Night Dram. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to try it. Yeah. But, um,. Well, Peter, were you the ones that was say- someone was saying that they were a Rye fan during my last live stream, and they had like so many. I don't know if it was you, Peter, or someone else. It may have been a uh, guy. Who was oh, here Guy last Davis. Stream, so okay. yeah, um, but yeah. Our next one is. It is not a store pick. Sorry if you read the title earlier. I wrote that they were both picks. No, <laughs> I was unfortunately. <laughs> um, this is the new Weller Foolproof. Thanks to Brandon. This is his bottle. You blew. Um, but he's offered to share a pour with me, so I wanted to review it for you guys. Um, we wanted to review it for you guys. Um, I was originally just going to ask for a sample to review it later, but let's do it now. Yeah, You're why here. not? Go over so, here, go, here, go ahead. You, you sure it. you want me to open yes, it? Yes. Last time. This is going to be a repeat of last time. No, we, we had a um, 
we got a uh, wild turkey from it was a 13 year wild turkey from japan i think it was yeah japan um that we opened earlier and i opened it earlier and he's like oh you ripped the label i'm like sorry <laughs> i don't focus i'm on a the... sucker for that he is he is there we go all right ready for a quick pop everyone That was good. Oh, there was like some smoke. I saw some smoke. Yeah, there was something, something extra on that one. Oh, dude. Oh, Donnie said that um that he and Diana got a Weller twelve last night. Nice. nice. I have not seen that on the shelf ever. Um, Get you on that one. Thank you. Give you a nice help and pour oh, of this thank stuff. You. I appreciate it. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. <laughs> hey, you got a little preview taste. Come on. Oh now. my God. Yes, I did. It is oh, dude. Uh, they said they have a friend um with a Weller foolproof waiting on them so how did you find this tell us the story of okay this. so this was probably two weeks ago or so we were going to one of my wife's friend's weddings and it was in the afternoon mm -hmm. and of course i'm never off on time for when total wine gets their drop oh, off yeah, sure. at nine o'clock yeah so we show up there and long story short they had two cases of this and the rock hill farms so I made my wife run back out to the car, get her wallet, because they make you <laughs> have two purchases on two separate credit gotcha, cards. Gotcha, gotcha. So we got we each got a bottle of the Weller Foolproof and a bottle of Rock Hill Farms. Nice. And yeah, that's how Clifton yes. got the bottle of Rock Hill yes. Farms Again, for you, MSRP. I, I've mentioned this before on the stream, but like for some reason, Rock Hill Farms has been like my unicorn bottle. I know that's like not a thing people say, but like it's like what I hate the whole like tater thing. I'm not gonna talk yeah. about that. But no, 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 no. Anyways, um, it's this cheesy reason. My hometown is called Rock Hill, South Carolina, and I've always wanted that bottle just because of that. Mm -hmm. So I've always looked for it, never seen it on the shelves ever. Like even like up marked up, oh, I've never seen it on the I, shelves. I've seen it a couple of times. Last time I saw it, they wanted one eighty for it. Oh, like no, and no, no, it's a fifty fifty five dollar yes. bottle. That's about it. So but, yeah, like I mean, I, I found Blanton's like for sixty, and that's like probably the most I would pay for. It. I, I yeah. like it, but it's 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 not worth the hype. It's not worth the overpricing. No. Not any of that. Um, so Donnie says, was not on the shelf. He had to be a good customer to get one with Weller Foolproof. Was this on the shelf for you at the store? That, or So this was at Total Wine, and no, they literally, it was literally coming off the truck from oh, the distributor. Gotcha, gotcha. And literally at the front counter. So we're like, dude, they had that in Rockville. I'm like, yep, one. I'm yes, like, give me yes. one of each. Wife, you get one of each, and we're done. Like, yeah. perfect. I've heard the Weller, the store picks of the Foolproof, it's super exclusive. Like, the, the two yes. stores around here that got them... They're basically just giving it to friends. Like, yeah, like, they're, they're, well, they're almost doing almost. It's not a lottery system. They're they're giving away to their best customers, which yeah, you know which, what? I mean, you gotta sense. respect that, you know, because I would want them to do the same thing. If you're gonna spend that kind of money, that yeah. kind of effort on a regular basis, you should get first pick at stuff like that. Yeah, you know? and it's kind of like one of those things. Like, I would much rather that happen than them put it on the shelf and put it four hundred. Four hundred dollars exactly. Yeah, because supposedly the picks are gonna be probably about. I think they said about ninety dollars. Which I mean, which I mean, it's it's more double the, the price on that one. This one is. 50 i think or 55 i have to look at the receipt but i think it was right around there so like we said it's not it's terrible. Up a little i mean that's a little high honestly that's probably yeah the max i would pay for yeah it. but like we said it's california again and you know it's so exclusive and, and you how said, many people you, you said only the there barrels are, in california supposedly tells, there was only five barrels in california of weller foolproof picks that are going out right now so that's why it's super exclusive and there's only two liquor stores in the air that supposedly got picks that we're trying to see if we can get a bottle oh peter says that um weller 12 Used to be a dime a dozen in Ontario. Now it's lottery. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. No, I was lucky enough to get one bottle and I paid 60 for it, which was a little overpriced, but then at the same time, nowadays, now I look back, it's like, it really wasn't that bad because I'm sure most of you in the chat yeah. would probably pay 60 for well or 12. Yeah. I'm assuming you're talking about Ontario, Canada, right? Not Ontario, California. Joseph. Yeah, no, I'm assuming Ontario, Canada. Okay, I don't yeah. think it's from Ontario, California. <laughs> wow. That's, I'm surprised that they got that, that many things like up there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, with Blanton's in general, it's like, Inter ever internationally they get so many of them oh yeah joseph what's up joseph brazu my man came in just in time my we just, man we just pulled us uh poured us some weller foolproof oh you got the nose oh on dude it. smell that that's I that's weller get, it's oh, weller dude you get the sweetness yeah i mean i just came i mean my last Corn. live stream was of weeded bourbons so. yeah so this, this is right up there i oh, know that was valley. two live streams ago yeah uh, i forget <laughs> Yeah, because you did the sample shadow last yeah. time, but still, dude. Ooh. Look, we got a fan here. <laughs> Someone who's always in the chat. Oh, yeah, always, dude. You should make me a moderator. I, should, I actually thought about that. You and, <laughs> you and Steven. You and Steven should be yes. mods because y'all are there every okay. single time. Yeah, see, 56 Canadian. Okay, but do you guys have to pay any? Is there taxes or anything else, or is it just 56 Canadian for the Wall 12? Peter White. Because um, I'd pay $56 all day, but I feel like there's taxes or other else. So, And what's the conversion? That's true. Canadian dollars I I to I think they're USD. higher. Oh, Joseph's at work. Jo Joseph, it's Saturday. And it's oh wait, but he's also he's also our time. So it's, I it's... I don't want to hear it. It's Saturday. <laughs> what are you doing at work, bro? Like have a have a pour. Like come on, man. All right, you ready to try this? Yes. Wait, 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 hold on, wait. Let's see what the bottle the bottle says. They have okay. a whole story back here. Whole story. No tax. That's all in. 
Oh, wow. That's not bad, Peter. William LaRue Weller developed his original bourbon. Oh, I'm bullshit. Sorry. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> bottled at the same 114 proof in which it was entered in the barrel, non chill filtered weeded bourbon forgoes chill filtration to preserve all the naturally occurring res- residual oils. That's interesting that it was put in the barrel at 114 proof, yet they're able to bottle it at 114 proof. Because doesn't it normally either lose or. It usually gains, gains, usually gains, gains proof yeah. when it ages, but it depends. Like I said, it's not age dated, right? It's true. It's not. So. It depends on and it depends on where the age of the rickhouse as well. Yeah, it's, wait, it says um, preserve all the natural. Eh, it's, it's, this is all marketing speak. Honestly. Yeah, it's all, all the marketing BS. Around. It's all about not being non chill. I mean, it's non chill filter, which is great. Yes, Joseph, bro, miss you too, man. <laughs> so let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers, Cheers bud. Careful about Clifton's hands. You may not get it all back. Hey, I don't take. Oh, okay. To be fair, I did accidentally steal a bottle from our last whiskey meetup. Mm. <laughs> makers, um, not makers, mm. uh, makers. Oh wait, oh I didn't taste it yet. Ah, taste I'm behind. It. Okay, go. Hmm. It's not bad. It's actually really. It goes proof. down really. I hate using the word smooth, but dude, you don't really taste the proof. This is like 114, is, right? Yeah, 114. Doesn't I feel like that proof is perfect. Like, yes. I, I, I wouldn't want it higher proof. Honestly, it would no. burn a bit. But mm-hmm. that's that's ridiculous, Peter. <laughs> how is how is the Elijah Craig Barrel proof that high, but yet Waller 12 is that low? That's crazy. That doesn't make sense to me. But no, dude. No, that's could, good. That's I could see the hype on this one. That, Ooh. It's rare that I say. I mean, now I'm not talking about secondary hype. Like, not like I yeah. don't know. I wouldn't pay 400. dollars No, but <laughs> dude, I. would I don't know. It honestly, to me, That's I could fantastic. pay probably about hundred. I mean, I don't want to say pay probably hundred, maybe even hundred twenty. Like start pushing because I was, I was going. I was above hundred when I was thinking. Yeah, because like, okay. So what kind of bourbons can you get at MSRP for over hundred? I mean, you know, y'all besides, know I'm not a fan of confiscated. I was like, besides confiscated, which I'm is going down, you can see yeah. them all the time. You've got Michter's tenure, which it's all right, but, but the proof it's kills. Low, it. It's like ninety, right? It's like it's so ninety proof. That's what kills it. If it was higher proof. Oh, I could justify the price. Yeah. It'd probably be delicious. Yeah. I mean, Mictor's Barrel Proof Rye is one of my favorite ryes. Yeah. So it's like, but dude. This like, is this is awesome. This, at least to me, this one is worth the hype. Yeah. The Special Reserve is nothing special. It's not worth more than the $20 that you find it. Maybe $30. I was about to like, say that. Special Reserve, know, I was so disappointed when I had that. It's just like, really fruity to me. It's really fruity, it's really light. Like, it's kind of like refreshing. Almost like, yeah. almost like, um, what are those beers that are the, um... The, the claws, the white claws that oh, everyone's into. I haven't had white claw yet. That's what it, it's like to me. It's like a refreshing beverage to drink on a hot summer day. Honestly, this with Special like... Reserve, I'd rather have. Honestly, I'd rather have Maker's Forty Six or even Rebel Yell One Hundred. Yeah. Um, not a fan. One Hundred Seven though. Um, we brought a bottle to compare, but I don't know if it's even comparable. Honestly, it's. I, I would say <laughs> let's. I'll say let me finish mine and let me pour the One Hundred Seven in here. Okay. And we'll compare it to that sure. one to see because. It drinks similar to 107, but I want to compare them side by side and see what, what they're going to do. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, then we can keep this one in the stack, mm-hmm. so, yeah, I'll leave a little bit of that. Um, well, since you like cork mm-hmm. pops, you'll, you'll pop the cork on that. Wait, no, it's screw top. It's screw top. This is before they got the corks. I hate you. I'm sorry. <laughs> he doesn't like screw tops. <laughs> you get me all excited, and then it's a freaking sorry. screw top. Okay, if it's a screw top, grab a little I'll water real quick. Okay, yeah, sure. of course. You can have the honors of that, yes. Mr. Uh, oh, cork pop me. man. Sorry, guys. Mr. Gotta <laughs> screw top. Shuffle this around here. There we and, go, sir. Um, I mentioned this on last week's stream. This was a gift from Jonathan Castle. Um, Shout out. Yeah, he, you've been to a meetup. Jonathan, there. oh, dude, he's he's yeah. a super he's nice guy. So, like, he's so giving. It's ridiculous. Is. So, cheers to you, Jonathan. Thank you for this. Cheers, bud. Bottle. Um, I, must, I mean, it is fair to compare them. Let's be. Not for so the weird thing with us is we can't find this on the shelves. This just isn't no. You, it's overpriced. It's on the shelf. I've honestly never seen it on the shelf. Like even overpriced, I've only seen the twelve in the special see reserve. For I've never 60. seen the one hundred seven. And then the MSRP went up on it. So then I saw it for like eighty. And then like, but the interesting thing is, is that same day where I picked up the Weller and the Rock Hill at a Total Wine, my dad went to a different Total Wine mm-hmm. and got me a one hundred seven oh, really? for twenty five dollars. So in California, it's still twenty five dollars. <sighs> It hasn't gone up yet, which I don't I don't understand. You know, why do some states go up before others? I don't know. In Texas, if you're in Texas, they're all on the shelves. Oh, yeah, and exactly, which I, that's that's a whole other story, yeah. you know, about allocations and everything else. Yeah, so Peter so. says, Buffalo Trace is very tight with government-controlled liquor stores. Um, they're the largest buyer of alcohol in the world after Costco. Oh, wow, really? That's interesting. That's awesome. Juan says he's awesome. Yes, he is. Yeah, you know, Jonathan's ridiculous. Oh, wait, I just... Pour some, bro. <laughs> it's already closed. You want to do the honors of pouring? Sure. This is going to be our comparison bottle. Yes. Thank you for moving that because I'm going to spill this for there sure. There you go. As long as you don't spill it on me. Yeah. I'll get enough for both of us. That's there we go. Hey, dude. We're going to be here a while. We got pizza on order, yeah, we, so we got some pizza we're stoked. 
The next best thing to pizza is Del Taco. But Mr. Cork Pop. That's not my porn name. That's it. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Joseph. I know. Of course, jo- I had to delete uh, one of Joseph's comments last you should, time. I, I remember that. You should delete that one, Joseph. This is not a family friendly. <laughs> Joseph, I told you I have to start answering questions about, is this stream family friendly? And I always say no. It's, well, I've never no, seen. No, it, it doesn't say if it's if it's family friendly. It says, "Is it a made for children?" Oh, no. so like no, it's there's not made alcohol for children. on this. There's no. not made for children. Okay, okay, Donnie or Donnie or Diana, Diana. says um, we see 107 often. Okay, and the second 12 I've ever seen was on the one we got last night. Oh, now nice. Donnie, did you guys pay retail for it, or what was the price you guys ended up paying for that? If you don't mind me asking. Also, where are you guys based? I don't. Where are they based? They are. A, don't quote me. I want to say Tennessee, but I could be wrong. I know they're near Tennessee. I yeah. don't know if they're in Tennessee, but they're near Tennessee. Okay, here we go. Peter White. We're paying thirty six dollars for one hundred seven. Yeah. That's that's that's, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, that's a little hot, but that's but, that's fine. Hold no on. worries. Listen, wait. hey Google, how much is thirty six dollars Canadian in U.S. dollars? On the website z.com, they say thirty six USD to cat equals forty seven Canadian dollars but and fifty nine cents. Flipped. Okay. So, so wait, that's that's cheaper. That's yeah. So it'll be cheaper in U.S. dollars. Yeah, it's cheaper in U.S. dollars. So, but see, but so sixty-five, it's still pushing it. But at the same time, if MSRP is going to fifty, sixty-five isn't that outrageous no. of a price. No. Especially if you are, you know, if you love this, like, because I know people they'll pay over hundred dollars for Elmer Chili. One of my buddies told me that out the door. He doesn't care. He loves it that much. So. If you really like I it, I mean, if you do, if that's your thing, go and, for it. But yeah, my biggest thing is I understand you need to make a profit. Yeah. But at the same time, you can't have a thirty-five dollar bottle of MSRP and sell it for two hundred. That come on, man! Like, people do. People oh yeah, do. of course. Crazy. Oh, they're in Memphis. Oh, you're. Oh, right. I told they're you. I was like, I thought yeah. they were in Tennessee somewhere because so they went to the meetup. You have the one hundred seven. So I have the one hundred seven. So how's on the nose? Let me compare. This one doesn't have the sweetness that the foolproof does. I imagine these are probably about the same age. I would guess. Mm-hmm. Is it still good? About two. I haven't had it in a while. Here, let me smell it. It's not bad. It just it doesn't have any of the sweetness that the foolproof has. It's more oaky, which is weird. Yes, yes, it's more oaky. This one's I like. See, I'm a sweet guy. I like the weed ears, so this one, the well of foolproof, is right up my alley. Mm-hmm. The antique 107 is good. It just doesn't have any of the sweetness, the caramels, the you know, all that good stuff. It's got a little more. The burns about the, honestly, I get a little more burn out of the 107 than I do out of the foolproof. I don't. It's get, good. It's, it's harsh. After trying that. So normally I would think this is fantastic. I still think oh, it's course. fantastic. Of course. But knowing what it's capable at 114 proof, there's, I don't want to say there's no comparison. There is comparison, but let me try this one back to back. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric says the Old Weller Antique just went up to 49 MSRP. Yeah, see, that's why I said, I was like, that's the new MSRP. I'm okay and that's... with that, yeah. I would pay that. Yeah, and they're, well, they're justifying it because now they're putting a cork on it mm-hmm. and they got the gold wrapper and, you know, it's, to me, it's because they haven't, look at, when was the last time they didn't raise the price of Weller Antique at all? Yeah. And that's the problem is you wait so many years. Definitely. Now you have to raise it that much. Instead of a few dollars here, a few dollars there, you got to kind of make up for lost time. I'm still lingering on the foolproof. The full, I, like you said. Dude. I mean, okay. Here's what I'll say. I wouldn't say if you if you're not a fan of this. But okay, if you're not a fan of special reserve, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's <laughs> that's out. Old Weller is about fifty. Yeah, Donnie, if you are right. not a fan of Weller one hundred seven, don't seek out a bottle of that because they are very similar. Yes. Very similar. Yes. But if you like Weller one hundred seven, absolutely seek that out because. Yes. Not sec. I still wouldn't pay secondary. No, 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 no. Not even. I wouldn't pay secondary for any of this stuff. It's not worth it to me. Like, there's so many other better bottles that you Absolutely. can get for MSRP that you can you know. Yeah. So they say Weller Special Reserve is thirty. 30 that's a little which, higher. That's a little high because at Total yeah. Wine it's eighteen ninety nine here because my yeah. dad got a bottle of that when he was oh, there wow. too. He's like, oh, I thought you'd want it. Yeah. Whatever. That's what I think. Like, it's not. It's not bad. Like, no. I mean, for eighteen ninety nine, I would gladly drink yeah, it. Yeah. For eighteen ninety nine, all day every day, you can have as an easy sipper. I, I don't know about cocktails, but yeah. no. I wouldn't seek it out. Well, they're twelve forty. Yeah, that's that's. I was now, Eric. We may need to talk because <laughs> I wouldn't mind paying forty for that and then paying shipping. That would, you know, that'd be awesome. I'd pay that no problem. Shh, that's illegal. YouTube's gonna ban me. Shh. <laughs> we'll connect offline. <laughs> yeah, Eric, we got you, bro. Yeah. So, oh, it's a lottery. Oh, never mind that. I thought you could uh, find it sure. everywhere. Like, I thought it was like on the shelf. Which one do you 40. have? The f- that's the one hundred seven. One hundred seven. Okay. You've got the full proof. Okay, I just took a sip of that one. So let me yeah. sh- go about the one hundred seven. You can have that. There you go. Oh, oh that's technically my core of it. So. Oh, uh, dude, I could. I'm sorry, I could drink this all day. It is, like, this it's is fantastic. I I could see why they people are going after it. Now I'm curious to know if either of us got our hands on a store pick of the full proof, because that would mean it's a single barrel. Yes. This is not a single barrel. This is probably small batch. Well, we're assuming because it doesn't say it doesn't anywhere say that it's a, a small barrel. batch or anything. Yeah. No. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. So we're. I'm assuming we're going to go with the same thing with 107. This is yeah. going to be a small batch of. X amount of barrels because small batches. 
Buffalo Trace store picks are legit, though. Um, my first bottle of Buffalo Trace I ever bought was a store pick, mm-hmm. and it was fantastic. But the only thing I found out with, with the Buffalo Trace store picks is there's not that much variance from the original bottle in comparison to a store pick. I would agree. Because, I mean, I would it's, say that because I've never bought original bottles. See, I have, and the original is super good, but so obviously you might have one that's more oaky, you might have one that's more fruity, but whereas this, it's like, so the foolproof is really good. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. One of the guys at one of the liquor stores that did the pick gave me a sample last night, and it is leaps and bounds different than oh, really? the OG one. Interesting. Like how so? So it's, now, yeah, I was gonna ask you. So, so he had a sample of a store pick of the full brew, which is what everyone. That's like the craze right now. Everyone yes. wants that. So tell us how yes. it was. Oh my! I, like the I literally had to call my wife. I'm like, dude, this is amazing, and I want a bottle. But unfortunately, I'm working on getting one. But it's just, it's creamy. It's just, it's code, mouth coating. It's so much sweeter. Like, it's just amazing. It basically is everything the foolproof is taken to another level. Like, it's just that good. It's worth every penny if you can find a pick. I that's imagine. the thing. I mean, if it's better than that. Like, it that's... is. Like, if you think the foolproof, the original bottle is good, oh my God, dude. You're going to be blown if you get one of the store picks. Like, yeah. it's going to be ridiculous. I mean, it's like you, night and day. If you guys saw my live stream two weeks ago, I did a comparison of trying to figure out my favorite weeded bourbon. I had the Weller 107. I had Maker's 46 cast strength. So mm-hmm. it was the 114. It's around 114 proof, honestly. Should we compare the 46 cast strength to these since it was your favorite? I mean, if you want to, what do you guys think? Let uh, us know. Let us know in the chat. Let us know. Because look, at Peter White said, I usually just blend the 107 and 12, 60 40. That is all I use the Weller 12 for. I mean, I can understand is that. Is that poor man's pappy? It's. So close, right? Okay. That's really, yeah, I, I know yeah. the ratio might be off, but I feel yeah. like that's what a lot of people use for poor man's pappy. Because the problem with Weller 12 is it's it's low proof. Yes. And that's what people yes. miss. But that's then again, why, you're yeah. getting in the William LaRue Weller territory. W- yeah. Because you got its cast strength, 12-year-old, that's pretty much WLW. Yes, but what is, what, what is the proof of the WLW anyways? Isn't it like one... I don't know. I've never had a bottle. I'm hoping to try it at some point. Yeah. Uh, I, I, see? Peter White. WLW is king even over Pappy Van Winkle 15. Okay. We got a yes. Well, okay. Let me grab it. Hold on. But see, the good thing is I'm going on a trip to Arizona in a few months and there's a store that actually has a, a flight, which is the old Van Winkle, the 10-year, the 12-year, and the 20-year. Oh, wow. For $75. Do it. And absolutely. they're two ounce pours each. Two ounces? Oh, my God. So I'm going to do that. Maybe and I should go also, to road trip to Arizona. Yes, you should come yeah. with us. And they also have the BTAC collection. They have the Eagle Rare, they have the WLW, and they have the Stag, and those are $37 a pour. Each. So each. each. Okay. Each. But, that's, that's, but that's still, like yeah, it's, it's not that sure. bad. I mean, yeah, it's high, yeah. but still, I would pay that in a heartbeat just so I know because a few weeks ago, I was in San Diego, uh, went to the Whiskey, whiskey house. house, and got Elijah Craig 18 and Booker's 30th. I overpaid, obviously, because Clifton and I both know it's San Diego. It's going to be expensive. We but their selection, to, look, to, to their credit, the Whiskey House in San Diego has probably the best whiskey selection. It's got the, it holds the Guinness Book World Records largest, for the largest selection. Yeah. So. Let me go grab that real quick. Sure, yeah. And I'll keep you guys entertained. Oh, by the way, WLW is 128 proof, so it's okay. it's still higher so 128, proof. Yeah. okay. So, our, um, my husband and his wife are both watching the stream in the living room right now, so they're probably a little bit delayed, so it's just kind of funny, because they're like, we want to watch you, but we don't want to be on camera, so we're just going to, like, watch it in here. They're laughing at us, I hear them, I hear them. They're both talking, they're talking about what's happening right now. Did you find it? Yeah, sorry, I'm back. They're delayed, aren't they? How yeah, far back are they? Delayed. How far back sorry. are they? <laughs> they're like, you're only like 15 seconds off. Whatever. 15 seconds, okay. Yeah, so like the wife and uh, his husband are laughing at us because <laughs> they're in the next room. They're getting the laid stream okay. here. This is the 107, so let yes. me rinse this out. Do you want the 107? Oh, oh. Want, out, it's up to you. You want to finish the 107, that's your bottle. If you want to finish the foolproof, you, it's up to you. I'll let you have house honors. Okay. I'll drink whatever, man. Foolproof? Little bit amount, 107. Or I could just be an ass and drink them both, you know. Here, have the 107, I'll have the foolproof. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I'll drink it all. Okay, so sorry. Elijah Craig, $29. Wait. Donnie. Wait. Oh, a pour. Oh, my oh, God. Wow, that's awesome. Dude, that's ridiculous. Don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not telling you what I paid for my pours because <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I don't want to get given a hard time because let's just say that one pour of one of those costs less than both of those together. So I'm we're, we're done talking about that. Like, no. I mean, my thought is if it's something that you're not going to be able to get that often and you want to try it. I think it could be worth it. Now, I'm not oh, yeah, saying no. pay $100 for a pool. No, I, I agree with 100%. And that's why I did is because I've been searching for a Booker's 30th for literally since it came out. I mm. saw one once and they wanted $600. Well, too bad you didn't join the little whiskey group sooner because we had a bottle over there to try. I hate you so much. And Booker's right. right. I hate well, you, you so like, much. I, I would try it though because then I can say at least I tried it, you know? 
Here's yeah. Guy Davis. Yeah, we were talking about you earlier. Yeah, buddy. Hey, were what's you the, going on, man? Were you the Rye guy? We were talking about someone earlier in my chat, like a, like last stream. I don't, stream, I don't think he was the Rye guy because he was sipping on just the um, he was sipping on Knob uh, Creek. Knob Creek, Creek. Yeah, yeah, just the 100, which is totally fine. Like yeah. Knob Creek, dude. I have like five bottles of Knob Creek at home of picks. Oh, by the way, for those of you, this is Brandon. He's in the chat like every live stream. So if you see Brandon in the chat, it's him. Yeah, Joseph knows what's up. <laughs> Miss you, bro. Um, okay, so both of our glasses are empty. Okay, empty. So you're gonna pull the pour the foolproof. You mean over I'll there? Pour the oh, okay. Six. Oh, okay. oh, dude. That's what we're doing, right? We're comparing these two. Uh, apparently so, because oh, wait, is that what you're so much. Oh no, I've already compared these two. I've already compared these two. <laughs> okay, no, dude. This is all about sharing, dude. Okay. I'm down for it. Let's go. Let's share, guys. Right? Paying for pour is way smarter than buying on secondary. Absolutely. I agree with you 100, Donnie. And learning that you don't like it. That's exactly it. I mean, even buying a full bottle. Let's be honest. I'd rather pay. Yes, when you pay for a pour of something, you're overpaying. Let's be honest. Compared course, to what the yes. value of the bottle is. Yes. But if it's something that you've never had... And, and you're never going to find... Go for it. And if you don't like it, great. You just saved yourself 100 bucks or whatever. Exactly. Like, and then at least you know, because that's my biggest thing, is at least now I know, that is it still worth the hunt or is it not worth the hunt? And to me, Booker's 30th was delicious, but it's not worth the hype. I, I Don't agree. get mad, but I agree that I think Country Ham is better than Booker's 30th. Ooh, controversy here on him. Just kidding. Yes, no, I'm sorry. I'll, you can put me out on blast. I don't care. That's just my own personal preference. Country now, if anyone else has tried in the chat before, let me know, but I am definitely, like, I agree on that 100%. Yeah, so, yeah, Booker's 30th, I thought it was really oaky. I thought it was a little yes. too oaky for me personally. Mm -hmm. I love oaky it, stuff, but, it, like, kind of It kind of reminded me of, um, like, a Woodford, like, where it was trying to be too rounded. I wanted to go in too many different directions and not just pick one and go with it. Maybe. I mean, I had a lot of things to drink that night that I tried it. Because that's what it was to me. Like, okay. it was good overall. Like, you tried this, you tried that. It had a little bit of sweetness. It had a little bit of oak. It had a little bit of fruit. There was no burn. It was good. Gotcha. But nothing stood out. Yeah. So, guys, he wasn't the Rye guys. We okay. figure out who that was. Someone was going on and on, I don't on know. about Rye's, um, drinking Old Forster 100 Proof that night and Elijah Craig tonight. Oh, good choice. Good choice. I had a store pick that I have a ledger keg last night, and it was fantastic. I'm gonna have you, okay. you try it after the yeah, stream. Yeah, we'll try it after so. the stream. Um, uh, Donnie says we overpaid for the ledger keg 18, paid double. One of your favorites. You were telling me about that, so I, that's yeah. one of ones I really want to try. It's... You weren't a huge fan on it. Okay. No, I mean like it's the same thing. Like it, it, Elijah Craig 18, it's super good. It's super delicious. But at that price tag, is it really worth it to me? It's almost like a daily sipper because it drinks so good. It drinks so smooth because it's only 90 proof. I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong in the chat. I was to say, but people are disagreeing with you with your comment uh, about Booker's third. Oh, Booker's third. I'm sorry. Like, I, that, you know, that's my own personal preference, and that's your guys. No, you know, there's no wrong answer in that. You know, I just, I, so. I can't say. To me, Booker's thirtieth to me was too overwhelmingly oaky, mm -hmm. whereas Booker's Country Ham is super balanced. So yeah, but also the biggest thing too about trying something in a bar is you don't know how long the ball's been open. Very meaning true. that it could kind of mess with things meaning if that bottle was open for a year you're not going to know how long it was open how long it wasn't also, you know how much air time it's had or hasn't had you guys have heard before like it depends what you've had like if you were eating something that you know complimented changes it, it or everything. changes what you think or the environment even like mm -hmm. if you're in a really i don't know like if you're already four drinks in you're not going to enjoy it like i probably was with the booker's 30th so yeah i yeah, always because he gets one saying is it booker's 30th had a way better mouthfeel to me it was kind of lacking that mouthfeel, but then again, that was also the last pour at the end of my night when I was in San Diego. Yeah. That could have had a difference because I had Country Ham literally before mm -hmm. I walked to the next bar and had the Booker's 30th. Exactly, yeah. So that very well could have done it. Peter says he thinks he was the Rye guy. Okay. Okay, so Peter White. Okay, so he was the Rye I, guy. I knew okay. it was one of you. There was someone in there. Yeah. Um, Eric says he's debating on opening an Old Forester 1920 pick. I didn't even know they did a pick of that. I didn't know they did picks. Eric, they really did picks of that? That's crazy. Yeah, I I'm not. I'll, I didn't. I've know. said this before. I'm not the biggest old Forester fan personally. Yeah, it's um, it's too, the, the 1920 to me is too fruity. As bad as it sounds, like it's good. I need to but revisit it's not, it. It's not much, you know, my drink of choice. The first time I had the 1920 um, was before I was into high proof stuff, <laughs> so that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. But um, <laughs> but old Forester, I mean, they put out some. I, their birthday bourbon this year, I had it. I had a pour of it. Okay. Fantastic. I, everyone says that because one of my buddies got a bottle. He's like, dude, it's the best birthday bourbon in the last few years. It's ridiculous how good it is. Yeah. I mean, but, I, I haven't had any of the other ones, but. No. I, well, I heard someone, was it last year? Was it was it Chad and Sarah that had it last year, the year before, and like, it was a dud? Maybe. It was like, know. it wasn't that great or a couple years ago. Well, that's the thing. Like, I just, I just not, I don't consider myself an old Forester fan, but no. that, that birthday bourbon was incredible. Like, Again, not worth secondary at no, all. There are very, very few bottles that are worth secondary pricing, and that's across the line. Honestly, so. my, I mean, we kind of agree on this. Like, I feel like we both kind of seek out Dusties. Like, yeah. Which, I mean, yeah. you guys probably know what Dusties are, like, bottles that are, like, older releases. So, yeah. I mean, there's no really limit of what's a Dusty, but anything no. that's 
honestly, to me, anything that's be- before 20, 2012? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's got <laughs> 2012 is a dusty. You're yeah. trying to call us all old guys. No. All right. Okay. No. All right. Anything before 2010. Okay. So let's go back to the oh, chat. Okay. So we got the Lionx Cat. So see... Look, at, we spent as much as we paved on a bottle the last few months of pours. We opened the 18 and drank most of it. See, the 18 is super good. It That's really is. Says, yeah. But it's so good that is it worth $130 for a bottle? Eric says you know? um, he has the 2018 birthday bourbon. Okay. Um, I have not compared. I can't compare it. 2019, I've... though, it was the best. I went to a tasting where we tried the 1910, 1920, basically oh, their charity. whole okay. their whole like heritage lineup of mm-hmm. the uh, Old Forester. Birthday bourbon blew everything away. Absolutely. So okay. give it a try if you find it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you can find that for MSRP, buy it no matter what because I guarantee you people, your friends are going to love it or you can, you know, you know, trade you it, just, sell it, whatever. You may have just said this, but Eric says they only did two picks ever for charity. For oh, Eric's okay. Wow. That's what I'm going to say. I've never heard of a pick ever. From, I haven't either. Same, you know. yeah. Um, gave our bottles away. Um, yeah. So, see, Donnie's not a fan either. I mean, I think Old Force is very, not controversial, but what do you no, call it? But it's, Polarizing. It's, That's the word I was looking for. Very it's, polarizing. Yeah. Some people love Old Forester. Some of them don't. So it's, no, nineteen seventy. Did you, Brandon? Did I send you the nineteen seventeen? Nineteen seventeen. Joseph. I didn't Joseph Brazu. You have a nineteen seventeen. <laughs> then send it to me. No, you you're, did you're not. Right. Like damn. Okay. 27. Oh, me twenty seventeen. Okay. Oh, okay. no, you didn't send me that. You didn't send me the stag. You didn't send me the good stuff, bro. <laughs> but we're cool. We got you. I got you. I got a surprise for you. If you hook me up, I'll hook you up. We'll, we'll connect on Facebook. I mean, Messenger, Brandon I got has you. some good surprises. I'll just I got you, bro. Yeah. I got you. Um, so Donnie and Diana says that we paid almost double 130 for the electric 18 proofs, 260. I've seen it go for that. So that, oh, that's yeah. really oh, yeah. reasonable. Um, yeah. Cause I've only seen it once besides the total wine for 130, which you can almost never get. I saw it at a liquor store for 200 and I was debating back and forth. And after having it in San Diego, yeah, it's just not my dram, which is, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, you teach their own. I like that. Not my dram, like yeah. jam, dram. That's pretty cool. I got you, bro. Okay. Anyways, we were supposed to compare Okay. Yeah. Shit. So I say, so you have the, you have the makers. This is where I screw up. This is, okay. you, you know, those moments. No, no, stop, stop. You're confusing me. Okay. You've been in... Stop. No, no. You're going to forget, too. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm not going to forget, bro. I know it. Trust what me. do you have? I have the full proof. Okay. Oh, my God. I have the full proof. I can totally tell. And you better have that Makers because I can tell. Okay. This is delicious. You guys have I don't been in streams where I've forgotten what I did, so I poured whole new pours because I forgot what I had. Well, we don't have more glasses in here. Can I smell so that one just to compare? Ew, dude. Bro, well, give me that one back. No, I don't want that one. That one almost has like sure? a... Are you sure? I hope you're right. That one almost has like a syrup like flavor very to sweet. it. Very, very it's, sweet. Yeah, it reminds me of the um. That maker is remember the one I brought over to you the, uh, private, the select. private select. That's what it reminds me of. It's got that almost like a medicinal like cherry. Do I trust you? Shall I smell from the bottle? Trust me, bro. Cause... You messed me up. Don't. Oh. No one fucks with my stream. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. Oh yes, this is totally. Let me smell foolproof. that. Hold on. This is totally foolproof, bro. I don't give a shit what you say. Okay, but smell from the bottle. It's confusing because it smells like that. <laughs> This is definitely Makers. Trust me, I know Makers. I'm a Makers fan, bro. I okay. can tell you. I can put money. If you want to pour that in a glass, I can guarantee okay. you that's Makers. I got you. I got you. Just because I'm going to finish this full proof before hey, we you. Are, no, we are gonna, <laughs> we're going to try it together. Okay. No, we're not. I already tried this. Oh, my God. I'm in love. Okay, wait. That's my wait, Sorry, wait, I can check. Okay. So, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Only one we've seen in the store. Eric says, I can send you a sample of 2018 King of Kentucky. I would love that, Eric. Message me on um, Facebook. I think we're, we may not be friends on Facebook, but if we're not, message me. Um, I like I said in my last stream. I'd love to get samples of things that I haven't had before. Um, I just love samples, so yeah, I yeah. would appreciate. It. And I, I send samples back, Joseph. I owe you some samples. Yes, and Joseph, you sent me a sample of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B five one nine and a sample of the Antique one hundred seven. Which, by the way, thank you very much, sir. The five one nine was pretty good, but to me, uh, I don't know if I want to go down that road. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof proofs drink really hot for me. I actually prefer Stag Junior to Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Sorry. Thus far, but I know I know my butt over here. He likes the extra barrel proofs. He is that. So, like I always say, to each their own. But thank you very much, Joseph. They were both delicious, and we we're good. This is pretty good. I mean, I know. No, no, I'm good. You bro. haven't tried it yet. Okay, fine. Hold on, wait. Let me have one less sip. Cannot disguise the maker select. Peter White, you are correct. I can tell that makers from a mile away, bro. Like you can just tell. Okay, the proof on this is one eleven, by the way. Okay, and that's only one oh. That's one fourteen. Three. So, yeah, three so it's got three difference. points proof. I can already tell, like, it's just. It's not bad. Don't diss it. That's, they're both good. This one, okay, I'll say this. My opinion, personal opinion. You're wrong. Weller full, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I got Weller you. Weller foolproof, finish 
way better. The yes. finish is incredible on this. Yes. Mouth feels incredible. Yes. Palette wise, I think I would say I prefer the forty six well, cast strength personally. This you get more of the flavor, but then the finish is almost like the it's burn just, it just goes off. away. Yeah, it goes away. Whereas this almost is flipped. Let me try that again. One more trip, back and forth. To where you get that one on the full proof, you almost get the burn, and then you get all the flavors at the end after it washes down or whatever. Like, dude, it's it's crazy. It's Joseph, bro, look at this face. This I'm not eyes. wrong. I I love the flavor on this. Of the makers, uh, I mean, it's personal. It's, yeah, agree. exactly. It's per well, like I said, but that's us. Like that, but that's the thing about bourbon. There really is no wrong answer. No. Just because I smell something or taste something doesn't mean you have to smell or taste. Doesn't mean unless you, you like, like George or not Dickel. Like. I mean, honestly. No, nah, he likes the Dickel, bro. I'm not about Dickel. <laughs> I like, like Dickel no. Rye. Dickel yeah, rye. No, I don't do any kind of Dickel. Like I'm good, bro. Like we're good. But <laughs> Joseph, I'm gonna ban don't. you. <laughs> don't you say do. anything. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't say anything. Okay, sorry, Peter White. Almost, although much cheaper in Ontario. I still prefer. Okay. I, uh, I prefer... I, <laughs> Whatever, Joseph. Okay, Donnie, you and I, we're on the same page. Everyone else is with this guy, so... Peter, I agree. I definitely prefer Elijah Craig Barrel Proof over Stag Jr. Stag Jr. is great, but I prefer um, Barrel Proof Elijah Craig. Joseph Brizu. Yeah, Peter White. You would agree with him. Yeah, the finish, no. on, this, the finish on this sucks, the makers. It's just, yeah. it's just gone. It just goes away. I'm not a good dickle, says Donnie. Mm. Let me try this full proof one last mm. time. This will be my last since you're taking the bottle home. Mm. I just... Oh... Okay. Unless you want to give me a sample, to com a small sample to compare with the store pick if I ever get a store pick, and I'll give you a sample of that store pick. How about that? How are you going to give me a sample of the store pick if I get the store pick, bro? I don't know. Yeah, I know. Why don't we wait and see if I can get you a bottle, mm -hmm. and then I'll get you I'll get you samples of both. I got you. We'll talk later. I got you. Sounds That's what good. it's all about. The Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. What's going on, bud? <laughs> right. as <laughs> so we finish. Yeah. No, we're not done, dude. We're going to keep going. We're going to extra innings, baby. Are we? <laughs> We're only 41 minutes in. We still got another 20 minutes to go. We also got 10 viewers. I know. Well, if 10 you guys, viewers is okay, more than enough. If you guys are interested in us sticking around and trying a few other things, um, send, let us know in the chat. Send, um, and we'll, is, we'll see if we got it or not. I was going to say send an emoji, but I don't. I can't name an emoji. Uh, Donnie, I've only had the, was it the 13 year? The, the Dickel? The bottom and bond. The bottom on yes. 13 year, and it tasted like Flintstones vitamins. See? I can't deal with it. I mean, it's not Some people bad. get that. See, see, so you get it and you're okay with it. My husband got it and he's okay with it. I got I'm it. Okay I could it. not drink it. It's just, I'm okay with it. You know, it's not bad. It's just, it's different. You got to be in the mood for something like that. You so can't Don, just do it. Oh, wait, you're, you were responding to Donnie just now when he said. Yeah, I was, just, I was like responding to Donnie. Yeah, that's what I don't like about it. I mean, I've only had that. So I guess Donnie, to be fair, I haven't had the whole dickle line. So I'd have to drink more to see how it compares to the others. Um, Brent, it, is Brent Oak and Smoke? Brent, I guess, is Oak and Smoke, because the other guy was... Crap. Okay, so if you guys want us to keep going live, I have a Stag Junior, the latest batch of it, if you want me to open it up. You guys are talking about Stag a lot. Open it, only 10, but dedicated. No, I'm not oh, complaining Joseph about I'm not complaining about you 10. You are the man. I am not complaining about 10. Honestly, that is awesome. That's like, not not, not the most we've had, but that's, that's like up there, so... Flintstones! I know. Um, Light, okay, put it this way, Donnie. What Dickel product would you recommend for me to try and see if me too. has it? Yeah, I don't or if he it. doesn't, maybe we'll get a bottle. I don't buy Dickel after that. But, but I yeah, but what would else. you recommend? What? What the f do I have? Freaking. Well, you have makers. <laughs> if you don't like makers, save me a little bit. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was gonna down it, but all right. You guys know that Brandon. Oh, some of you know that Brandon likes mm. to chug things when he gets little. Okay. Mm. Keep that Nobody off, knows. Keep that off air. Uh, yeah, keep that off air. The wife, I can't which, cut it out. We're what live. the wife don't know won't hurt. Oh. I forgot <laughs> she's in the room. see that in 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah, 15 seconds before she storms okay, in here. Everyone go quiet. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. I okay. hear people above okay. us. Okay. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I hear your neighbors, but... <laughs> Joseph, what an ass. Dickle line. <laughs> okay, nobody said anything, Girl but... bourbon is dickle. Yeah, do you guys want us to keep going? Like, my glass is empty. Send bro. a smiley like, emoji if you want us to keep going. If not, it's okay too. We'll, yeah, we'll call we can, it a night. We can end it, you know, because Cliff and I were gonna hang out. We got pizza. There was a pizza, bro. <laughs> you can check when you go get okay, that. I'm getting hungry. Okay, but there's some single barrel store picks that are private label source from Dickel. They're totally awesome. Okay, but Donnie, those picks don't help me unless you send also, me a sample. I I can't. I gave you know, Dickel compare. a shot with. <laughs> I feel like it's always like. <laughs> I gave Dickel a shot with the bottle and bond 13, which sounds incredible. That yeah, sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna be a fantastic whiskey. Okay, um, it's under my what coffee. Do you, what cart. do you want? The Stag Junior. It's Stag not Junior, open. Okay. Uh, I think it's from Joseph Brazo, actually. Oh, maybe. sample. No, no, sorry. Is maybe, it a no, sample no, bottle? No, no, It may have been from Brian Allred. Okay, but is it a sample bottle? No, it's a full-size bottle. Oh, shit. Okay. Just tell Justin under the coffee cart, 
You'll see it. Okay, I'll find it. I'll be back. We need some water too. <laughs> yes, yes, please. <laughs> so, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. I know it's Saturday night, and you guys are probably. I mean, I must you have better things to do. Honestly, I had nothing better to do on Saturday night than to hang out here. But I'm so excited to hang out with Brandon and his wife and um, Fran Francesca. I believe that's that's your name, right? I, I told you guys I'm bad with names. She's going to hear this and they're going to laugh. And they're gonna, Brandon's going to be like, you said her name wrong, idiot. Just kidding. Um, oh, wow. Thank you guys. Oh, wait, so Cartoon That, welcome. It's been a while. Welcome back. Honestly, this is... I don't normally have guests on my streams, but um, Brandon was over. And we're, I don't have very many whiskey friends that are in my area. So um, I'm excited to do live streams. I hear myself in the living room. Um, so Donnie says, we tried Dickel 13-year bottle and bond multiple times. Not our thing. Totally agree, Donnie. Same with me. I, It's not my thing. Um, single barrel we got from the distillery that we love. What did you hear? <laughs> what did you hear? Where am I at? I'm talking to you, Brandon. Oh, sorry, bro. I got you, bro. Here. <laughs> How you found it? Okay. And I hope that's what you Oh, mind. it's Batch 5. It was from you. I thought it was Batch, Batch 12. Batch 5? I thought sorry. you said it was a new sorry. one. I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. Hold on. Backtrack, backtrack, okay. backtrack. I had the newest one, and I was going to compare it to this one, then I drank all the newest ones. <laughs> what, so, an, so I'm what an ass. No, get away. That, no, you don't get that. Okay. Wash your glass out, bro. Joseph, that is from you, and it's Batch 5. I was confused. This is the proof is one twenty nine point seven, Joseph. So if you want wants to Google that real quick, if not, I can look it up on my phone. No, it's no. Do you see this batch five? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Joseph graciously. He's the man. He knows what's up. It's batch five. I have not opened this yet, Joseph. I know you sent it like several several months ago, but I have not opened it. No. Ghost behind you. Yeah, that was you coming in. What oh, did they say about our stream? What that was, was freaking me out. I'm like, Your wife's name is Francesca, right? Yes, my wife's name okay. is Francesca. Your I husband's thought so. name is Justin. I thought so, but I said it, but I was like, I got nervous. I'm bad about names. <laughs> I got nervous. I was like... She's going to let you have it if you didn't like, she's call like, her out on I said, it. she'll tell me. I'll hear her screaming in 15 seconds if she doesn't. Listen. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, that's not my name. And you get to do the honor search. Since I opened the other three, you can do oh, sure. one. Let's go in this one. Let's see if I can get this metal part. It's the same as Eagle Rare, is interesting. Yeah, right? it's the same as Eagle Rare, same as Weller. It's like the first time I pulled off the little tab, yeah. so I couldn't rip it all the way around. I had to like pick at it for a while, and it was. Look at that. It was. Oh, one shut pull. up. Show off. And I only have one arm, so like. I don't want to hear your excuses, sir. Just gotcha. pop. The, you got it? Oh, wait, oh, yeah, hold yeah. that. Ready? Okay. okay. Shh. ASMR. You guys want to hear this cork pop? I bet you really want to fucking hear it. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't swear. Yeah, I wouldn't not swear. For, not for children. Not children. This is a children's piece. Shh. Can you. Shh. Yeah. yeah, it was a little bit smoky hey. there too. That was that was a good core pop. <laughs> oh, good core pop. The newer stag juniors are better than the older ones. I could not get through a batch four. Interesting, Interesting. Peter White. Interesting. I have not had the older ones. I've just had the newer ones. Clifton, remind yes. me when I get home. I when have you get a home, bottle. I'm not gonna go home with you. No, no, bro, don't go home with me. <laughs> I have a bottle of stag junior at home. I don't know what batch it is out. Don't quote me. <laughs> It could be bad. I hope that didn't get on you. Sorry, I might have put it on you. Nine or ten. What the f? You bro? guys, I gave you nine or ten. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. remind me when I get home, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, let you know what I got, and I can always send you a sample or give you a sample so you can compare it to Batch Five from Joseph Brazu. So Donnie, uh, Don, Don, <laughs> Donnie, not Don. You, Donnie. Um, I think Batch Eleven was actually what I had. I um, did you just say something about me? No. Okay. I had Batch Eleven. I have not had Batch Twelve yet. I've been on the lookout for that. Um. <laughs> It hasn't popped up very much here in Southern California, honestly. No, it's only the newer stuff. The the, the stag generally comes up in batches, and once it's gone, it's gone. You might find it here and there at a liquor store, but they usually want a ridiculous amount of money for it. What? It's got a lot of oak to it. To me, it's really sweet, and I'm surprised, because like, normally stag is like overwhelming oak. So, Joseph, we're drinking your batch five right batch now. Five. Joseph, do you still have batch five? You if want you to have some, this? pour some um, before we drink it. Yeah, Donnie, one of the I think one of the guys in there wish you got a couple bottles of the batch thirteen that we hopefully we'll try at the next meetup if they bring it. Wait, batch thirteen. Oh wait, really? That I was thought fast. that wasn't it the one at KL or was that batch, batch 12, twelve that was at KL? Batch twelve came out like two or three months ago. Oh, Are they already on batch thirteen? It's probably batch twelve. I mean you could be know. you could we be have right, to Donnie. See. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, no, wait, Donnie oh fall. They have a fall release. Oh okay. look, look they summer. Did, they did Thirty two. Every okay. quarter? I yes. Didn't know they do every I thought quarter. they... Was it... Four? Okay, so quote me, guys. How much? How many releases does Stag Jr. do? I thought it did four. But it's confusing because, look, Stag Jr. fall... But that's 18, okay? So summer 19. Yeah, okay, one, two. So it is four a year then if it's quarterly. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Donnie. Okay, no, there no, we no, go. No, it's not... Oh, okay. Donnie's got the full leash. Okay. Donnie? Oh, wait, 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 let's, let's, 
Okay, we're a little drunk, but we're going to go through this, okay? He's drunk. I'm all right. I'm getting there, but trust me, everyone knows in the group I'm not there yet, so we're good. <laughs> yes, oh. they do. Sorry, Joseph, you're working my bad, bro. Don't be pulling out someone's tooth that doesn't be pulled out. Okay, okay. Donna, you're going too far back. We don't we don't know, we don't relate to this. <laughs> um, okay. So they have a fall release of this year, fall, yes. summer. They only did two this year so far. Okay. They did a, last year they did a winter and a spring, so two last year. Okay. Fall, spring. So two a year. It's like two a year. So they only did two a year then. That's interesting. And they switch between spring and fall and summer. And, and wait, no, wait. No, every year it's been spring and fall, spring and spring fall, fall, spring and fall. fall spring Until fall. this year, they did summer and fall. Interesting. interesting. wonder why they released it later. Was it not ready? Maybe it probably, wasn't, it probably wasn't ready. That's probably why they released it later. The batch wasn't ready for whatever reason. But this smells pretty good. Okay, Eric, Eric <laughs> I don't know what that means, bro. I don't speak computer or whatever it is. It's, I mean, it smells it really smells good. It smells good. Like, let's, let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Twice a year. Mm, okay. Hmm. Very Eagle Rary, I would say. What was not, that? But that added proof. Not the store pig. I'm no, talking the, about the generic OG Eagle one, OG Rare. One. Yeah, okay, so everyone's saying in the chat twice a year. Okay. No, see, this one. Oh, that proof is fantastic, though. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, when you first take a sip, that's what I like about Stag Junior. You get that heat, you get a little bit of harsh, that's what, and it okay. just goes away. My thing is, people, Stag Junior has such a reputation as being. Oh, it's too hot. It's the beast. It'll punch no. you in the throat. No, 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 you no, hate no. it. No. It'll be too hot. You can't handle it. Yes, it's hot. I mean, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is hotter. I agree a thousand percent. I, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is too hot for me, bro. Like, I need to maybe start using a couple drops of water. The only one it I had help. was a C918, which is your favorite. Yeah, it is a lot favorite. of people in the group's favorite. I had to add a couple drops of water, and it finally I have know, a loaded B590. a little bit. It wasn't bad. After the stream, I have a B519 if you want to try it. No, no that, Joseph sent me a sample of that one because okay. that was the 122 proof, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it was low proof. It drank hot, man. I don't get it. It's not bad once you get rid of that heat. Just like, okay, so right now, batch five, you get the heat, you get the harshness, harshness mm -hmm. and then it just goes away, and you get all those flares. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's gone quick. Yes. That, that, um, yes. not, that the, not that the finish has gone quick. No, but the, see, and it's the exact opposite because the Weller... Mm -hmm. you get the opposite you get the sweetness but then you get the harsh and you get everything else as for the finish the full proof no the antique oh, 107 okay. the full proof is where you get that harshness and you get the sweetness at the end it's That's, almost like the stack what i was gonna say about the full proof is like at first it's like it's weller and then it's and like, then oh. just yeah you let it go down it's like oh that's okay, weller this is, this is <laughs> like in a good way but bending wire and pouring acrylic what the f joseph what do you do for work i honestly don't know you don't remember i don't i'm sorry this stream is sponsored by joseph brazil no, orthodontics that's his wife right Joseph Brazu is Joseph Brazu. His wife is not Joseph. Wait, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what his wife's name is. Does it? He is a is orthodontic. Is he? he does teeth. We'll see. We'll see. Orthodontia. Shortly. I thought it was your wife, Joseph. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will drink. I will chug. I don't have anything here to chug. But <laughs> we're gonna add these two. <laughs> no, I know Joseph. He's my man. Okay. His he is the I'm orthodontia sorry. person. Which I don't know if that's technically a dentist. I don't know. DDS maybe. I don't know. But that's up to you, bro. You let me know. I don't know why I thought it was your wife. I don't know why I thought that. No, his wife looks awesome. I've never met her. I, I mean, yeah. I want, okay, Joseph, I'm sorry, bro. You are way too far out of Seattle. Like, you're in the boonies, <laughs> man. Like, I was going to go to Seattle to visit you, but you're way out there, man. Like, it's far. Like, I Googled mapped it. It's like two hours outside of Seattle. That's ridiculous. Peter's, um, Peter so, White. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. The Oak and um, Smoke Whiskey Review says, Stag Jr.'s heat is all in the front of the palate. Yeah. Okay. And then once we get okay. through that, it's good. Yeah. See, and that's how Stag Junior is, which I've never had George C. Stag. So. Oh wait, they both were there. Okay. Okay. So, so it's like okay. a husband wife duo. But who is the actual doctor? She is an orthodontist, and I thought he worked in the office. He does all the lab work. So okay, we are both right. We are both right. They both were there. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, my wife is the doctor. See, Joseph, my so man. I get, I get to drink both of these, right? That yes. Was a good yes. One. Yes. You do. Here, drink no, both no, of these, stop, stop, stop. so I can drink more of this while they're full proof. It's your bottle. It's your bottle. Oh my god, <laughs> you are not getting any more of this. It's delicious. <sighs> you guys heard? I'm not getting any more. So. Yeah. No. No. Not unless I get. Not unless I get the. If I get the store pick, you're getting a sample. Okay. I will send you a sample of both. We'll hook it up. Clifton is correct. We are both correct, honestly. <laughs> Unbelievable. We can be friends. We can both be right, Okay, right? stag junior. Honestly, it's... it's they're, to be fair, it's, they're both stag. What? They're both stag junior. No, no, they're both stag junior. Okay. Just I'm sure just saying, know. this is way better than the reputation it gets. Yes. It and, gets a reputation and, as being hot. And if you can get this for MSRP, which is what, here 55 mm -hmm. to 60? I paid 50. I paid 50 See? for my bottle of it. 
I would buy that all day long for 50. There's nothing wrong with that. I like that. It's delicious. So in California, we're kind of fortunate. We get Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, 60. We get Booker's, 60. Mm-hmm. We get Stag Junior's, 50. You guys out there, in Kentucky, even in Kentucky, it's higher. Booker's is like 75 to yes, 80. Yes, 80, yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, my man. I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't hey, going to go there, bro, but if you want to go there, hey. Dude, you married her. Yeah. She's a winner, bro. Trust yeah. me. I, as a gay man, I agree. Um, whatever. Help that helps you. <laughs> what was that look? <laughs> I saw that. Joseph, you married the white woman, man. <laughs> yeah. She's a keeper. Yeah. Just like my wife. She's a keeper, dude. She's a pain in the ass, but hey, she puts up with this and I'm delightful. Everybody knows, so. I have only met your wife twice, but she is really awesome, so. She's pretty great. Booker's is 80 to 90 here. Yeah. See, Donnie, we can get mm. it for 60 all day long. All yeah, day, K- every day. Kennel still has it. Yes. They still have it for 60. And I'm, I'm half tempted to go back and oh, buy I'm, I'm, oh, Sorry, I want to try your um, shiny barrel. Do you want to open... You want to try that on this? <laughs> no. Sorry, guys. We are going to try that here. They're laughing about us. We of hear them laughing. They're. What are they laughing at? I what don't do know. Say? Let me wash this out. Let me go... We'll, we'll compare it to that new Booker's, and I'm going to open it because I love cork pops. You guys know I don't like to get drunk on these streams, but I have a guest, so... I'm entertaining. We love I'm the to host. have a good time, and it is delightful. I'll be back. <laughs> He's probably going to hear this. Brandon. (laughs) They're they're laughing about you, about Brandon saying that you're a pain in the ass. (laughs) I hear ourselves. That's crazy. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Thank you guys for hanging out, by the way. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having fun, too. I hear Brandon. (laughs) Um, the old Ezra is seven barrel strength is a nice buy for the price and rare breed is a gift. I was saying earlier, I haven't had bar- rare breed in a while for a while. It was, um, fantastic. And I haven't bought, I don't know why I haven't bought rare breed. Um, I have a bottle, but I haven't opened it yet. I, don't I was going to say, I haven't, that's what I was saying. I, I had it a long time ago and I okay. loved it. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> We're catching up with the chat. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. They're really behind, aren't they? I, I heard. Yeah. Like, I, my wife was mad that I called her pain in the ass. <laughs> like right when we came out. Yeah. That's, that's what they're laughing at. But. Like I said, she puts up with me. I'm sorry. Like I'm an angel, but she doesn't know that. But um, eh. Donnie says next time one of you are heading this way, let you know. I'm going to of South course. Carolina. I mean, I'm not going to be able to drive to Tennessee, but I'm going to South Carolina. No. So if you want to meet me down in South Carolina, hey, what's up? Yeah. Um, I saw the Booker's 105 guy. That's ridiculous. Don't that's pay one. Crazy. Don't pay 105. Like these are good, but 105 is super expensive. Like unless it was country ham. <laughs> yeah, but mm. at the same time, I would try a okay. sample or go to a bar and try a pour before I was gonna spend say, that kind of money because we're all different. I don't want to tell you to order it. And, that or buy one of them. Don't buy more of them. Even if yes, you like try it, try one and see. If you, even if you like it, don't buy more of them. Um, coming. Put oh, no. That's oh. no. No. That's the door. That's oh, the door my bedroom. Joseph, that's a door, dude. To he's the hallway. Out, that's not a closet. He's not coming out of the closet. <laughs> don't worry. His wife is here. Okay. You guys ready for a cork pop? Quiet, everyone. I love cork pops. All right. Here we go. Ow, mother. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah. I just pulled a Sarah. <laughs> While you were doing that, I was like... <laughs> Punch you in the face like Chad. Oh, dude. I'm so stoked. I haven't had, I haven't had this ever. Um, Juan says, good hangout. Thank you. Yes. Um, th- yeah. Juan, if you're heading out... You're um, the best, bro. Thank yeah. you guys, everyone, for staying here and hanging with us because we're just delightful, but right. <laughs> it's nice to have friends that enjoy this like we do. See, Especially since you were nervous. Okay, you were nervous about going live, but like it's, it's Oh, I'm easy. opening up, it's bro. We're good. Easy. Yeah. Ooh. Um, so but we're opening up. We're delightful. And this is not going to be the stream. Last time, last time I drank, dude, I literally had <laughs> this much of the Booker's myself. It was bad. Um, but we're not going that far. This Eric is the last. Says, this is the last. Okay, Rare Breed sorry. was 45 at 116 proof. Yeah, that's about what it is around here, right? Like 40, 45 ish. Yeah, usually, I, well, I haven't seen it for that cheap. But it's usually 55, 60 okay. when I see it. But I need to buy another bottle of it. I need to revisit it. They that. have it at the same, the same stores that pick, they have it for 50. But okay. it's the older one. It's the 112 Is that the proof? older one? Okay. I think, don't quote me, unless you guys know in the chat. I think how it's how 112. How did my cat get back up in here? No, it came back in here. <laughs> it, came back it came back in here and we closed the door and we locked it in here. I don't remember. I'm a sorry. 112 because the one I have at home is I think 116.5, Donnie I believe, says, so. Old Ezra 7 Barrel Strength is awesome. $40. Yes, it's $40 here. I've never had it. Oh, no, Best... I think I've had it, but I've never bought it. I think he has a bottle, right? I already finished it. What an ass. What? <laughs> this guy finishes it. One of the best values, mm. of Old Ezra Barrel Strength is one of the best values for $40. Yeah. That's, it's, 
Absolutely. To me, as far as I know, that's the cheapest barrel proof, correct? That and Rare Breed are about the same. They but Rare Breed is more expensive. Yeah, I was like, Rare Breed is more expensive. I can never, I've never seen Rare Breed 35. I saw it for 35. I'd buy it all day long. Donnie said, what did we just open? Um, we opened Brandon's bottle of... I've never it's had this. It's a shiny barrel. I heard good stuff about it. A lot of people like it from this year, 2802. So I've heard this is a conflicting bottle. I keep, it's... I'm losing the word. I'm losing the word. What is the word I'm trying to say? I don't know. What are you trying to say? So it's Polarizing. Polarizing. It's... I keep forgetting that word. A lot of people say it's good... But they say that Country Ham is better, and we're gonna find out. I didn't bring my bottle of Country Ham. I have a bottle of Country. We'll see. You we'll, shouldn't we'll have effing said that, bro. <laughs> like maybe we'll try that later. Maybe. I don't think so. But if this is really fantastic, then we'll go grab it. If this is like <laughs> you're drinking that shit, bro. Like I'm just saying, I'm on my bookers because I love this shit. So we have to see how it compares because Country Ham is delicious. Someone asked about the proof. But, oh, they they may have been asked about something else. But the, the proof on this one is one twenty four. That's not that high for Booker's. Booker's sometimes creeps into the, like, one one twenty eight. It's, yeah, usually between 126 and 130. Yeah, somewhere around think, there. Right in that ballpark. And this one is aged six years, five months, and one day. So I feel like I never struggled to keep up with the chat, but you guys are talking a lot, and I yeah, love okay, it. Okay, I so love sorry. it. Okay, so. okay, okay. So I want too much for my wallet. Won't wait. Oh, wait. Go, go guy, because me and Mike's talking about the Booker's. Remember for 105? I agree. I agree with you, guy. Like I wouldn't. 105 is super ridiculous because you can get Knob Creek, you can get single barrels, you can get picks for 40, 50 dollars. At least that's what we get here in California, and it's super yeah. hard to justify 108 for a bottle of Booker's. So Eric try says, it at a bar before you spend that Knob kind of Creek cash. Single barrel is 50. Um, okay. We just did three barrel picks. Now is, is that the single regular single barrel or the or, or a the barrel picks. pick? Barrel picks here, most of them are 50. Some of them are cheaper, yes. most are 50. Right about 50, because yeah. both Clifton and I have a bottle of a pick that was only nine year, but it's 35, which, hey, that's not that's not bad, because what's the regular small? I tried that, small, I tried that the other night, yeah, nine year. Yeah, they're at least nine year at the single okay. barrel. So they're pretty much very similar, and for $35, it's not bad. It really isn't. No, but, Compared but to, the 14 to be fair, year, to be fair the, the K&L picks are a lot better. But like we said, also an extra $15, $20, depending on what the pick is. I would is. pay that extra 15 Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah. But at least it gets you into the barrel proof. It gets you a decision you can decide between the 14-year, the five year, you know, the 15-year, the nine-year. Guy says that we're great, fun hanging with you. I wish you could be live with me every night. Like that would be maybe we should do some kind of like little Skype thing. Like we can figure it out, bro. But maybe. I don't know if you guys want me here all the time because I, I'm feeling I pretty do. good. I do. It's delightful. Okay. What was the age on the page? Oh, they're talking to him. Um, twenty nineteen oh two is great compared to twenty nineteen oh yes. one. Yes. See, so was I've that, never had twenty nineteen oh one, so I can't. That speak. was was that Teresa's Teresa's badge. badge. I've heard nothing but bad things about same Teresa's here, badge. But on the flip side is a lot of people said that once it finally opens up, you give it some airtime, it gets better. But everyone seems to like the um, 2018-03. Everyone uh, agrees that 2018-03 is great. Yes, but... This, a lot of people love. A lot of people like Shiny Barrels, 2018 but a lot of but people... But some people don't like it. It's no, really, but, it's very polarizing. Yes, but the new one, does I that forget who, someone polarizing. just posted the new one, the um the Something Biscuits, 2018-04. Yeah, we haven't got... I, I'm surprised that's out already. We haven't seen it yet because... Um, Jason from Mash and Drum, shout out to Jason, he's the man. He already did a review on it. Wait, really? I yes, he already did a review. Everyone go check to, it out. Go check out his channel. The cat's trying to get out. Do you want to get him out? No, F the cat. Okay, so oh, whatever you're biscuit. You're the one that loves my cat. I know, I want him to pet him. But, I, said, okay. I said earlier, I said like, Brendan's here for the bourbon. He's like, no, he's, I'm here for the cat. <laughs> Beaten biscuits, yes. I'm trying to catch Beaten up with the biscuits, chat. Biscuits, that's what it was. Beaten biscuits. So okay, wait, Peter, Peter says, I think I have Booker's Oven Buster. Oven Buster? What, is that? what year? I've never heard of that year. Are you sure it's Oven Buster, bro? Like, I just know, double check it. Let me know. Like, you could be right. I don't know. I've just never heard of it. It. I Honestly, I didn't get into Booker's until end of 2017. So. But that's what I'm saying. I got into it a long time ago, but I want to go back to like 2015, 2014, back when they didn't have even names. It was years. Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews says that he loved an upgrade picks. Yes. Totally agree. Yes. Best value in bourbon. I'm, I have always said that. Definitely. Best value. For $50, like Clifton and I both got a 14-year for $50. Like, come on, man. Fantastic. Like, Where are you going to get a 15-year barrel proof Pappy? for $50? Pappy? I mean, like, Not Pappy's even Pappy. Not even Pappy. Barrel, really? Pappy. Even MSRP for 15-year is what? 109 I think. Knob Creek For a 15-year, and that's MSRP. Where are you going to find it for that much? Knob Creek is knocking it out of the park. Um, yeah. Booker's is 100. Okay, Joseph. Booker's is 100 around Joseph, he lives in Washington. I told you, Joseph, you live in the freaking boonies, man. Not even in no, Seattle. No, no, that. He lives no, no. in the middle of nowhere, Washington bro. Washington has tax. They have ridiculous Oh, taxes. they have, like, the alcohol tax or whatever. I, so okay. we went... I told you guys this story before, but I went to Seattle on vacation. We weren't there for bourbon. We were just there. I went to a liquor store. I was like, I'm going to get a bottle to enjoy for this trip, right? I went to the store. There's the prices, and it was like, oh, that's not bad. Then it's like, 
plus this tax, plus this tax, plus this tax. Yeah. And it was Before like Before you know it, you're like no. it's like twenty dollars more. I'm like, are no. you serious? I'm but I mean I mean the, the the flip side of that is they don't pay state sales, income tax. Sales, yes, yes, so. yes. So it's kinda hit or miss, yeah. but okay. So back to the chat, okay. So Knob Creek Booker's Donnie okay. says but Donnie says my Okay, so Teresa. it is beaten biscuits. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Donnie says um, um, Luster. Teresa Snatch. Teresa, that's what that's what Monica says. Or Monica says, says Monica will it's the yeah, okay, our group, yeah. I, I haven't would. had I haven't had Teresa's, so I don't know. I don't even want to try. Like I always watch the whiskey tubers reviews and see if it's something I'm gonna like before I buy it. And a lot of people said they like shiny barrels, so I picked up a bottle. Eric it says good. Clifton's word of the stream is polarizing. That's what I keep forgetting. So Eric, you're my point guy when I'm like, what was that word I keep saying? Polarizing. Yeah, polarizing. Peter says 2015, um, the before. one that he was talking about earlier. Oven Buster was 2015. That's that's way before I was into it. I'm sure it's incredible. 2015-04, Donnie says. Favorite boogers was 2015-02. Damn, we should have got into it sooner. Wait, you Maymaw, Maymaw's it? batch? You already drank it. Ugh. Oh, dude. Mm. Mm. Okay, the shiny barrel. Oh, that's not... good. Wait, that's good. Oh, fuck. You're going to go get the bottle of Country Ham, aren't you? Bro. That's really good. What are you drinking? Wait, you don't like it? I'm letting you know that you're drinking the Stag Junior, bro. Wait, you didn't. What? I poured the Booker's to compare it to the Stag Junior. This is just the Booker's, <laughs> and this guy says I'm drunk. I'm not even close, man. I just know what I'm drinking. Oh, that is the oh, Booker's. Oh, okay. This is the Stag Junior. <laughs> right. This was not as. This <sighs> was nuttier. That yeah, one is definitely sweet. nutty. That yeah. one's this one's sweet. got the sweetness. I thought. I'm sorry. I thought you poured no, it that. No, no. That, that's what we're comparing it to. I'm I sorry. This is what I have. That's why I don't do my streams drunk. Be back. Wait, we're we're past an hour. That's why we. Stop. No, we're going to OT. You wait. Your, you hold on. Everyone's gonna wait. They're gonna love this. If you guys want to. If you want. <laughs> All right. Um. Oak and smoke. Someone said your name earlier. I, I've said this before. I'm really bad with names, so I'm so sorry that I forgot what your name was. But thank you for hanging out with us. Um, ton of fun. I love your channel. I subscribe to it. I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed to it. If I'm not, let me know. I will subscribe. Um, I checked it out when I was like discovering you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I had the wrong bookers there. <laughs> I thought, Oh wow. This, this booker smells incredible though. Even though earlier I thought I was smelling the bookers, this is the stag junior. The bookers smells incredible. It's almost like, a, um, almost like a, if you guys have been to Kentucky, a lot of the distilleries will let you taste their mash. So like not their distilled spirit, you taste their mash. This smells like the mash. I'm curious to see what he thinks about that. Um, Juan, you said that um, your favorite so far is Sip A While. I tried that for the first time on my last live stream. I had a sample from Joseph. Fantastic. Favorite booker so far. Totally agree with you there, Juan. Um, Peter says, I've always heard that Big Man Small Batch was the batch, was the best. What is Big Man Small Batch? I'm curious. <laughs> Never heard of that one. Never heard of what now? Um, Big Man Small Batch from Peter. From what? Peter says Big Man Small Batch. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. All right, everyone. Donnie, hold on. Okay, hold on. Donnie okay. says that my cat reminds me of Tux. I know, and that's why I told you. Your cat is delightful, bro. Yeah, when you sent me the photos of Tux, it immediately reminded me of my cat. So, again, I am so sorry. That so you... sorry for your loss. Yeah. I, I... Everybody, cheers to Tux. Tux. Hey, well, cheers to Tux. With cheers, this. bud. Yeah, Wait, we're cheers with our regular ones. Cheers. I don't know what you're drinking. I have the Stag Junior. Cheers, bud. Cheers to Tux. You demand. Cheers to Tux, for sure. Cheers. I should play Stag. I think I have your bookers. Yep, you do. That's very good, though. I really like your bookers. It's you have, good. You have the country ham. This is okay. So everyone's country ham and Clifton's one wonderful old forester, Glen Karen. <laughs> As someone that's not a fan of old forester, I have he doesn't like any tribe. He doesn't have any more tribeca glasses. So I feel like you do. We had four. Is. Well, you said you have three. My, but husband, I find my the, husband broke the. Oh, Justin can't find the third one. He broke two of them. So I was like, give me the Glen Karen. That's he broke fine. two of them. I have a Gila Booker's. Okay, oh, Peter yeah, White, you the man, bro. That's um, old school. Linux Cat says, oh, sorry, Donnie says, um, Big Man Small Batch was 2015-01. What a weird name. They, Big Man when Small they first, Batch? When they first came out, they were really weird names, you know? They Booker didn't... C. Okay, Peter, um, I wish Monica was here. She sent me a sample of an old Booker's, and it was a C you something. You better not have drank it when you're in Vegas and not remember it. <laughs> I did. I did. Come on, bro, like... I'm sorry, Monica. Monica, give him some. She's, not, that's, she's that's not here. <laughs> she's busy. I'm gonna I'm gonna message her and tell her to rewatch the stream, 
If they all want to see big bookers with a big man, yeah, he was. Johnny, he was. His statue at the um, Jim Beam thing is... I, I love Jim Beam. You said you've been there before, right? Yeah, I went there. I didn't go there for a tour. I just stopped by on my last time trip to Kentucky. There I'll be can... going next week. Unfortunately, he can't is. miss out. I missed out on the Jim Beam tour because my flight got canceled. So I won't be able to do Jim Beam, but we got some other exciting things going on. You got to tell me how your trip goes. Oh, dude. I Maybe I'll you. invite you back on to tell me the what a, recap. All right. We'll, fi- we'll figure out the whole situation because Clifton lives up here in Hollywood. I'm in North Hollywood. Excuse it's like, me. It's like North Hollywood. No, it's sketchy. <laughs> it's I know. Not... I live in Orange County, which is in Mission Viejo. So my bad, bro. Okay. Overtime. You are right, Padawan. Okay. Try these. Smell those two whiskeys and see. Let me know. Bourbons. Let me know what you think. So this is the shiny barrel batch. Yes. Which I confirmed while you were gone. I tried. I tried yours. So when you that's tri- Booker's. No, that's tri- that's the stag, stag junior. You tricked me earlier. No. But I went to this and this is fantastic. This is yeah. Really I know. Good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The shiny barrel really isn't bad about it at all. I should decant the old Booker's. Peter White, you should let us know how it is when you decant it. Let's see how it turns out. Donnie says we need to collaborate more often. We should. I wish. We're just it, far away. It's, it's like it's too far away. I mean, we can make it work every once in a while, but I don't know if we can make it work. With maybe if I start a Skype Patri- or... maybe if I start a Patreon and get to donations. I don't know because well, what about all those um like um I whiskey she wines did a live stream last week with mm-hmm. whatever company that you could have people come on. I need to look into that. Look I, into that. I and let me know because I would, would gladly would come you on. Back on. Oh, I'll come on, no problem. Okay. Okay. So you've got shiny barrel batch is got very good. This country is my ham this and is my... shiny barrel. So, I don't know if you guys missed this, but this is my first time trying Shiny Barrel Batch. I've reviewed Country Ham before. I'm a big fan of it. Um, can I get how many bottles of Country Sorry. Ham? Yeah. The uh, the Country Ham is our seventh bottle in tonight. So, we're doing pretty good. I'm feeling on good. On air. On <laughs> air. Not including the other, I don't know how many I'm going to tell you on the other side. But we're doing great. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good call, Donnie. Yeah, they use StreamYard, I think. So, StreamYard. try StreamYard because on their live stream, they had people come on as much as you wanted during your live stream. I need to look into that. Look, look into that. that. I whiskey she wines. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, he deleted it. Oh no. We'll see, Donnie, what is it? Is it not stream? Yard? You don't have to be there live stream together. Yeah, we'll try it out. We'll see. Donnie deleted his message. <laughs> Maybe it's called something else. Okay, so go back, go Ooh. back to it. So, what do you think of the country ham in comparison to the shiny barrel? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so Whoa. Well, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. Okay. Country ham drinks way hotter, but it's yes. literally 0. 0.7 proof difference. Yes. So the country ham is one, and but it's also. Six years, four months, and two days versus the Shiny Burrow, which is six years, five months, one day. So it's a difference of one month and one day, and yet the proof is 124.7 versus 124. That's crazy. That's hot. That's the, the, uh, I, I haven't that's tried this in hot. a minute, so let's see what happens. But hey, cheers, everyone. Let's cheers. See. Mm. I'm not dissing it. It's, it's still very good, but it drinks hot. Yeah. It reminds me of large grape barrel proof, the heat that you get. But with this, you get the heat, and then it you get the sweetness, you get the caramel, you get the oak. You get all that good stuff going down. The only thing I don't like about large grape barrel proof is all I get is heat, and it almost burns my taste buds, and I get nothing. So, Although there's more heat on this now that I come back to it after that one, so we're almost out. <laughs> no, I can pour you some more if you want. Okay. I'm good, bro. That's hot. Okay. That's hot too. So okay, so country ham by a mile. Cl- or, uh, Joseph, my man. See, I got you. I'm with you 100. percent I go with the country ham over the shiny barrel batch. So in a heartbeat, because I'm half tempted to go buy another bottle of country ham because it's so good. I'll tell you how I experienced it. It may sound crazy, but so the first thing I had was the country ham. Okay, I had the country ham. Fantastic, delicious, there we amazing. Go. There we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. Joseph Brazu, his phone's about to die. Oh. Joseph, good night, sir. Thank find you out, very much for joining out, us. Joseph, find out my results if you watch the replay. Watch the replay. And good night, sir. Okay, back to Clifton. <laughs> so, Country Ham I had first. Fantastic, amazing whiskey. I drank the um, Shiny Barrel Batch. I know. It was... <laughs> <laughs> this is why we should have recorded this and I've been live. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling this F right now. You're feeling okay. it, okay. Yes, I'm feeling this okay. stuff now. All right. So I had the shiny barrel batch first. That's, yes, you had the shiny barrel first, conclusion. and then we went and grabbed... I went and grabbed the country ham, so that's the second one. That's the one that okay. I'm carrying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So this one, fantastic on first sip. This was a fantastic whiskey. I tried the country ham, and I thought it drank really hot, but it was still very good. Mm-hmm. But... Um, Going back to the shiny, shiny barrel, barrel, it was also hot. They were both hot. 
I mean, like we said earlier, it depends on what you're drinking before, how your palate is set up for these whiskeys. Now, to me personally, with any kind of bookers or high proof, I can have one pour and that's it. After the one pour, my taste buds go to numb and it doesn't taste good. doesn't matter what the pour is, I'm done. I can only have one pour of the high proof. By the way, if you guys are watching and you haven't liked this video yet, really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, just, I just, I'm just, sorry, I'm looking at oh, my little likes over here, over here. <laughs> um, you don't have to like this, but if you- Don't if worry, you, don't worry, yeah. I mean, if eight of you have hung out this whole time, um, hopefully you liked it. If not, you're just judging us, you're recording this to like judge us later. Hey, we'll see. Hey, we're here, we're here for you guys, you know, we're here for the fans, so. <laughs> oh wait, there we go, there we go. We're it's all good, likes. we're getting some likes, thank you guys very much, you gotta like this a lot. No. So Clifton knows to have me on more often, because I'm pretty great, you know. He is, he is. Trust me, great. my wife. It's awesome. It's good times. He's, he's pretty great with the good times with his wife. Um, yeah. <laughs> we got four likes. Thank hey, you guys. I, I told you it's working. Good job. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. I really appreciate the likes. No, I, we do appreciate it, though. Um, I don't normally mention that, but I was like, you guys have hung out this whole time. Like, We really appreciate yeah, it. Like, this is this is a wonderful night, guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> you know, maybe wish you were here to do streams with me every time. Like, we really... Like, I wish we lived down the street from each other. I wish we like, had, like, a whiskey ball behind us of all our yes. bottles. And, like, we were, like... Like, almost... Really... I'm sorry. I have to call out... What is it? It's um, Chris from Bourbon Insane. He has mm -hmm. got a wonderful wall as a, as a setup for his for his, for his lives. Him, too, and Bourbon Buddies. I don't know if you've watched them. Bourbon but, Buddies, um, yep. They have this, this yep, amazing Yep, the wall collection. of whiskey. It's like, between Clifton and I, we got a pretty decent-sized whiskey collection, but that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about sharing with your friends, family, close ones, you know. It's about, you know, bringing new people into it. And I have no idea what that name is, but boom, liked it. Good stream, guys. Thank you very thank much. You. O'Shire? I don't know if that's that. O'Shire or if that's <laughs> Japanese, Chinese. I don't know, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. Peter White, you the man. Have you found your channel? That's Clifton's channel. He's the man. He knows what's up. Yeah. So Hope if you're, you guys new, if you're new here and you want to subscribe, um, hit that little subscribe button over there. Um, but it, if you're not, that's okay too. Yeah. Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we had a great time. Great to have it you was here. Delicious. We're gonna figure this out. Um, maybe we'll have you on um, Skype or something. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Donnie, we got you guys. All yeah. your all your regulars, we got you. But until next time, we're here to help you drink good whiskey and everything was good whiskey. What was your favorite tonight? Let's just say. What was your favorite? I'm sorry, I gotta stick with that. Well, man, one, it one, is. Three. Oh, dude, it is worth the hype. I'm sorry, as bad as it sounds, it is worth the hype. OJ for hire. Got OJ you. for hire. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Appreciate it. I agree. Well, they're foolproof. If you see it on the shelves for retail, get it. If you see a store pick, get it. Until next time, I'm Clifton. I'm Brandon. And <laughs> it's Bourbon Night. <laughs> no, it's not Bourbon Night. Trust me. We're not. It's, it's Bourbon Night. This but, guy. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Have Cheers, a great everyone. night. Happy Saturday. Have a great weekend.